when I'm gardening, I'm, I'm in the zone. I'm just gardening. There's not a lot of else activity going on. I'm one with the soil or the plant. I enjoy being outdoors. I started my garden in 2014. Started with uh, seven trees. I got some peaches, I got some plum trees, I got a uh, pomegranate, uh, apple trees. Within the year, I collected a few citrus trees. Ooh, six years later, my garden is beautiful. The trees have matured. The peaches, the nectarines, the plums. I harvest those every year. Oh, the guava tree. The guava tree. We've been feeding on the guava tree. This is uh, November 1st. And we've been eating from that tree since September of this, of this year. So I do the seasonal stuff like tomatoes. I usually put mine in a early spring so that by July, August, I have some tomatoes. Last year I grew popcorn. I like corn. Oh, I like corn a lot. So, oh, I also grew potatoes. Remember the potatoes? Uh, I have something going on throughout the year. Right now, the flowers I have in my garden are roses. I have African violets. No, African daisies. In the front of the house, I have hydrangeas. If I'm walking on the street and there's a nice flower that I like, I will get a cutting. I will help myself to a cutting. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and just come stick it in the ground and lo and behold it grows I know how to garden through experience <laughs> growing up I grew up on a farm in uh, Kenya in a small city called El Bagro. at the age of 13 I transformed um, an outside space in my home into a little garden and I planted some kale, I planted some cauliflower and the neighbors would come and buy uh, my vegetables. I collected quite a bit of money. I remember I bought my first watch with uh, money from selling kale, uh, like the local little restaurants i wouldn't even call them restaurants what are they like little i don't know diners grafting of trees that i just learned from watching youtube videos i had some peach trees that uh, moved with me from the previous residence that were in containers so when i put them in the ground they produced a lot of fruit but it didn't taste good so by watching youtube i learned that i can change my fruit because the trees are already established i could uh, graft new scions onto them for the fruits that i liked so that's what i did i i collected uh, scions from trees that i liked grafted them onto my old peach trees and yeah I now have a different variety if there was a food crisis I believe I can easily live off of my garden because the kind of food I grow is so varied right now I just remembered I have a ton of banana squash. Banana squash does not go bad. Like it can last a whole year. I have enough there to last me until the next season. So 
with a crisis, you know, I think I'd still be pretty much well fed. So, how long did you work at Uh, I'd say for, out, for quite a bit. The thing is, it would be different because you only get certain types of food during different seasons. So I guess it, we just have to adapt to it and eat what is available. If, if it's guava, well, that's what you get fed. If it's squash, that's what you eat. But there's always something growing. There's always something growing. There's not a time I've gone to my garden and not been able to pick something to eat. Is one going?